Okay, today's crash course tutorial brought to you by Brad Hendrickson is going to be in how to calibrate all the transmitters at the cell plant, giving you an example of at least one or two. Uh, first and foremost, what you want to do is you want to open up the ABB S Plus Engineering, and the ABB Symphony Plus Engineering is going to load. Once it's loaded, we're going to go ahead and open up the project, uh, go to projects, project admin, and we'll see all the projects we have for all the units, uh, unit park FTA, which is the BOP, and unit 1, unit 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Uh, just for today's example, we'll go ahead and open up unit number 6. It's going to open your control engineering project, it's going to load it, start the engineering service. Once this is done, hit OK. We'll say system project updated successfully. And then you can hit back, application engineering, control engineering to actually take you to the project files for unit 6. We're going to expand this out under UP unit 6, L1, and then unit 6 PCU. And we're going to go to controller 2, which is always your primary controller. And here you're going to have a list of all your uh, external drawings and such, uh, sequence drawings, etc. For this, uh, you'll need a copy of the calibration sheet, which can be found on the shared drive under South, Operations and Maintenance, Records, Logs, Calibrations. Um, I'm going to be referencing the calibration sheet for uh, instruments on units. And just for today's example, we're going to use a PT004 on the Alpha engine your power turbine thrust balance pressure which is a 0 to 100 psi transmitter um, using this sheet which has uh, what external drawings each of these transmitters is on I can see that it's on uh, external 114 so I'm going to open up 114 by double clicking on it and then automation engineer program will open up with the uh, drawing I'm going to go to the calibration tab over here and then I'm going to zoom in using the magnify function and select just this area to scroll through, give me a good reference of uh, what's on the page. And I see that we have 6APT004 right there. Now when doing these calibrations what you want to be concerned about is this uh, function code 1, it's a function generator. This is what we're using at the south plant for all the uh, the dumb transmitters, since they don't have a zero span adjustment, we use a function generator to adjust the zero and the span. Um, so all these f of x blocks that you see are here are all of your, uh, your calibration uh, controls, I guess, for lack of a better term. And this is what you'll be using to calibrate instruments. Um, now we're going to go into online mode, which allows us to see real-time data. Um, and I always hit no just because I like to see everything else that's going on the page and if you hit no you'll only be able to see this function block you won't be able to see the raw value coming in and your calibrated value going out here which is this AOL analog out to the loop pretty much writes the uh, the value to the HMI and to the rest of the control system so double click this you can open it up and uh, in this function generator block the properties we see under tunable specs um, we have an input coordinate, an output coordinate, an input coordinate, an output coordinate. These first four right here from S2, 3, 4, and 5, these are your zero and span adjustments. Your inputs are your X values, um, you know, in a table, and then your outputs are your Y values in a table. So, say for example, I wanted to dial this zero in because it's a, a tenth off. Um, I would actually put in negative 0 0.12 hit apply and I did that wrong but I'm not going to record this re-record this whole video I'm actually going to put in 0 0.12 positive hit apply 
and it dials it down to zero closer you're never going to get it completely zero because of the decimal places that they dragged it out to um, so then for example say we had uh, someone out there transmitter locally and they pumped it up to 100 psi and it was off you would adjust this s4 value your input coordinate um, it honestly doesn't matter from what I've heard when talking with AVB if you adjust either the input or output coordinates but you want to be uniform you don't want to adjust your input here and your output here so I've always just done adjust both the inputs because we're adjusting the raw value coming in and we want the output value to still be between 0 and 100 because that is the true range that the control system should be seeing um, I'm going to leave this change in here just so I can show you how to save this so then say we're done and our high span value is good at 97.68 you just hit OK and you're going to close this and I'm going to hit yes to save those changes otherwise it will revert back to the previous value and then you can close automation engineering and you could keep going through the list opening up other externals checking other function blocks and setting those values um, but for this crash course tutorial that's all we're going to do um, and then when you're done with everything you want to go back you want to go to project admin click on the project and you want to hit close and you want to say yes to that and then it should say down here UP unit 6 is closed Sabash always for good measure would hit close again just so you got the no project is open to close prompt and then you can close your S plus engineering and that is your crash course tutorial. Thank you.